Hey guys, Mal here, and today we're going to take a look at 10 quick tips to help you make it out alive in GTFO. If you don't have a full team, get on the GTFO Discord and fill spots. There's no matchmaking and no difficulty scaling, so you're instantly at a disadvantage not having each slot filled. Take your time and be patient. You really want to conserve resources as much as possible for the bigger levels. The weak spot on sleepers are the head, stomach and back. Headshots are always preferred. It takes a half-charged melee headshot to drop one if a nearby one goes off. If you're dealing with a group of sleepers but their glows are all out of sync, you can flick your torch across them quickly. They will all wiggle around a bit and then settle. They should now be synced up, making it easier to line up and kill. When dealing with the scouts, or as we like to call them, tentacle heads, your best bet is a sniper. You can sneak around and take out some sleepers first, but be mindful that if a sleeper goes off, the scout will yell and bring a horde and all sleepers from adjoining rooms. Sometimes the better option is to set up an ambush and have your sniper shoot the scout. I've had the most success with this by waiting until it has just sucked all its tentacles back up. Take your time and wait for the right shot. You don't want to miss. If you run out of ammo in the middle of a fight, you have to melee. You have unlimited sprint and the sleepers have a much harder time hitting you while you're sprinting. So run around like a lunatic while you charge up and then duck in and hit one of them. Keep sprinting and move as much as possible. Really utilize the space you've cleared. If your health goes below 20%, you can hide and cover and wait for it to regen back up to 20. Set up contingency plans in case things go to hell in each room. It may seem excessive, but having a plan of what to do if a room looks particularly nasty will save your ass. We even go as far as knowing who is going which side on choke points like doorways, just so there's less confusion. Feel free to experiment with gear and find what works for your playstyle. The one thing that I would say is essential in any group is someone has to have a sniper rifle. Outside of that, you can really do whatever works for your group. We found the best setup for us is a bio tracker, two sentry turrets, and a seafoam launcher. It's worth noting that with the bio tracker, once you wake up a room of sleepers, you can mark them all by holding mouse one. It helps a lot to know how many things you're dealing with and where they are. Friendly fire is a thing. Keep this in mind when you're planning things. You don't want to fall back for an ambush and mow each other down in the crossfire. Interestingly though, melee attacks don't have friendly fire, so still go crazy with the melee. Save your seafoam grenades for when you're doing security doors. A couple of well-placed turrets and locking down the right door can drastically change how difficult these encounters are. You can still look around while sleepers are glowing, just don't move or toggle crouch. Speaking of which, you can enable toggle crouch in the gameplay settings. Well, that's it for now. GTFO is a truly challenging game and we've been having an absolute blast making our way through it. If you're looking for something to play with some friends, then this is definitely a good pick for a challenge. Also, if you haven't already, get involved in my Discord and check out my Patreon. Links are on screen and in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.